Hey there, Tammy Sharice Walker here. 2020 is almost here. Can you all believe that? It sounds weird, though, 2020. Um, for my new viewers, please hit subscribe for me. For my return viewers, hello. And for everybody, hello. And please hit like. Like helps circulate my video all around the universe. And today we want to talk about goal setting for 2020. What on God's green earth do you have up your sleeve? I know you're like me with all these great visions and plans. If you don't want to make God laugh, you tell him your plans because he has the final plan for us. And if you believe, you know it's going to be good. So stick with me. Let's go for a ride. Let's talk about goal setting for 2020. I'll be right back. And you ready? Let's go. Find something you cannot afford to pay for. Tap into it. Hey there, welcome back. In the words of Kevin Hart, I think that's his dad. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Anyhow, we want to talk about 2020 goal setting. It's a pivotal time. It's, you know, craziness to think that we have gone through these different decades. You remember 1999, the Y2K, oh, Everything's going to mess up. Airplanes are going to start falling from the sky in 2000. As you remember, nothing happened. Everything kept going smooth as butter. So what are your plans for 2020? What in the world do you want to do? As I go around and talk to my clients, and I'm always talking to various people, even coworkers, or friends, even strangers. I talk to everybody. I always hear these dreams that they have, but how many of us are really willing to put them into motion? It's so hard when you're caught up in your nine to five job and paying bills and taking care of kids and yourself to really live your best life. You know how they say you want to be great. All of us want to be great, but we have to put that extra oomph into it to, um, Make it happen. So what in the world will you do for 2020? I want to give you some tips to help you achieve your goals and begin your goals. Tip number one, often it really helps to write it down and make it happen. It's something about pen to the paper. It really puts it in motion. It's almost like when you were in school and you were chewing that gum and that teacher told you not to chew gum, but you kept chewing it. And they made you write it a hundred times. I will not chew gum. Write your goal a hundred times. They say it's this um, thing called five times five. Oh God, I'm going to mess it up. Anyway, write it down multiple times. If you want to start your own business, write it down. I will start my own business in 2020. If you want to go back to school, I will go back to school in 2020. Also, take it a step further and start researching your business. Score.org is a free website with retired CEOs, business templates. It's got a wealth of information. Score, S-C-O-R-E dot org. It's throughout the United States, so it's free. No excuse. Give it a, give it a whirl. And also, um, journaling, writing down, like I said, just write down your goals. Keep writing them down over and over. If you want to go back to school, even if it won't be until August 2020, start doing your research now for scholarships, which school you want to go to, the curriculum, the field you want to go into. Start now. Even if you even if you go in 2021, start researching now. Make these your goals. Don't uh, I'm not going to say don't set resolutions. Many people that doesn't work, but what does work is writing it down every day writing it down weekly. I do this. I do this, you all, and it works. And when my goal comes true, I cross it out. And it's something about writing it down. It, it makes you accountable. You're accountable to yourself. Give it a try. I'm telling you what I do and I'm telling you what works. Tip number two, try new things for 2020. 
I remember trying kickboxing for 2019. It changed my life. Um, they were kind of the, the, the kickboxing place where I went to. They were trying too hard. And again, this desperation, it just doesn't work. Like the greasy haired salesman when you go into a car dealership, don't you run out the door when he comes to you trying to force you to buy a car $20,000 more than what you can afford or make you pay a $700 car note. Nobody wants that. That's how it was with the kickboxing. They were trying too hard, too bossy, and trying to be aggressive. I am not Rocky. Uh, I am not Muhammad Ali. I'm just there to exercise, but I don't want to be um, verbally abused. Anyhow, try new exercises. Try yoga. Try meditation. Try a new cuisine for 2020. This is something that makes you feel empowered because you're stepping outside of the box. So that's tip number two. Tip number three for you people out there that absolutely hate your job, for the people where your jobs are doing the downsizing, for the people that you feel safe, create a new resume for 2020. It's going to make you feel empowered and inspired because you always want to keep a fresh resume. Do not trust these employers. The upper management, they're getting the money, they're getting the stock options, and the little people are not getting much of anything. Keep your resume circulating, keep it formatted, do that for 2020. Tip number four, travel baby, I don't care if it's local, I'm in Chicago, outside of Chicago. If you're living around me, go to Wisconsin Dales, start planning your trips now. Hey, for May, I'm going to do this. July, I will be doing that. Get out and make it happen. Tip number five. Let's get physical, physical. I want to get physical. Oh, and that can be more than one thing. Physical with exercise and physical, physical. You know what I mean? But no, I was talking about exercise. I can't wait till it warms up here where I can go walking by the pond. It's a pond by my house and I just get great joy doing that. Make sure you do some type of exercise. I've been slipping you off. Oh God, I've been, I've been a bad girl. I've been eating cookies and pastries and oh Jesus help me today. I do admit that I did get on my trampoline. I have the rebounder. I got on that a few days ago, but help me you all. I got it. And I'm not even a big sweet eater, but all of a sudden I've just been, oh, I've been a bad girl. So get physical for 2020. And those are the tips I want to start off with. I'm doing some different videos about inspiration, the Acts of Faith, the book by Iyanla Van Zant. So I'll be uploading more videos about that. Probably tomorrow I'll be doing another video. But get excited about 2020. Do not doubt yourself. Always feel empowered. Always feel inspired. Do not become a victim. Do not put your fate in someone's hands. Do not put your happiness in someone else's hands. You are in charge of your destiny and your ship. You are in charge of that. You know, we can go around blaming people for things we don't have. Or I can feel sorry for myself. I got broken up with for 2019. Beautiful guy. I wonder if he ever watches these videos. Hey. Um... Seriously, though, beautiful guy, beautiful relationship, and it wasn't perfect, of course, so I probably wouldn't be broken up with, but it was healthy, and I loved him, I still do, and we had some great, great times together, and I thought we had a future together, and I got dumped, so what did I do for 2019? I saw support in that regard. I started a brand new job. I still work part-time as a therapist. I really took care of myself. I went and saw my family in Nashville, Tennessee. And you know what? I feel kind of proud of myself. I didn't let that define me or stop me. I'm a girl that beat cancer twice. And unfortunately, I lost both of my parents. So with those heavy hitters, I feel like I could still get tripped up, which I did this year. But I may be down, but I'm never out. And we are all stronger than we realize. And we have to remember God has the final say so. And when you really believe in God, you know that he wants you to have his very best. And sometimes his very best 
is not what you had in mind. Nobody knows the future, but when you have faith, you know that things will work out okay. I've been spending a lot of time alone going inward and I love being by myself. I discovered, I've, well, I've been like that years ago, but I'm really loving watching Netflix or journaling. Today I was reading a book, books actually, plural. My dear friend wrote her own book, The Glam, The Glum and the, oh shit, I messed up her book title and I cursed. I will get the correct title and the right information for you, but her name is Pamela Hewlett. And it is about event planning, and it is a fun book. I was reading it today. I'll get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it up there for you, um, so you all can know her book. I. You know what? I put it at the end of my video. <laughs> Sorry for person too. Um, but anyhow, oh God, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I've been reading books and just trying to love me, which I'm doing very well with. So. If you are out there and you, you are like me, experienced a breakup or, you know, a job loss, God forbid, a family member or a friend died, I want you to hold on to um, God's unchanging hand. And I want you to remember that he has the final say-so. And I'm telling you, this year, people have been saying the stupidest. See, I went from God to I'm about to say another profanity word. But they've been saying some of the most craziest stuff to me in regards to the breakup. Or it's just been weird. And God, bless America. Please, if I ever said anything insensitive to anyone that's watching my video or about a breakup, forgive me. Because... We don't want to be like that. Be kind to each other. When someone tells you something bad happened to them, you know, maybe I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Whisper a prayer for them. Keep your mouth off of people and these stupid opinions. Um, just do better in 2020. I'm sure trying to do better. Lord knows I need to do better. And if we all hold ourselves accountable, oh, what a beautiful and wonderful world this will be. Don't. Pay attention to what's going on in this world. Don't get caught up in that and think that it's not going to get better or that you're not going to make it. Oh, you're going to make it. These are tricks to confuse you. But keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes up. The Almighty is the one who's in control. And when you believe, you're going to receive. Remember to have faith. Don't, don't pay attention to what's happening. I'll never forget having cancer and they were like oh it's aggressive I was like I wasn't hearing that all I was seeing was me I kept visualizing myself running a marathon I had breast cancer twice you all chemo radiation surgeries twice 07 and 2013 imagine having to go through that as a 30 some year old 40 some year old scary scary but I'm here here making a video for you making a video so this tells you you can be anything. It doesn't make you immune from problems or heartache, as, as I just illustrated. But you're going to be okay. Even when you get a little weary, even when you feel faint, even when you feel sad and down and out. God, God, God. I can't emphasize that en enough. He is the only way. And it's by my faith that I am still alive is by my faith that I, I can still smile because I know man and woman may let me down, but God, he never, he never, he has never failed me. Not one time. Even when I was scared, down and out, being abused, going through a divorce, job loss, lost my parents, cancer, cancer. Now I'm look broken up with, but I stand, sit, Sit. I'm sitting before you and I can smile and I can sleep good at night because of God. He is the only way. Seriously, 2020, what are your goals? Sorry to go on my preaching tangent, but I just have to be honest. I just got to be honest. 2020 is almost here. Write them goals down. Make them happen. Make them happen. He will help you. He will help you. Thank you for watching. Hello, and of course, here comes the train right when I'm trying to pub my dear friend. Let me show you her book, The Glam and the Glum. 
me. I'm going to put it up to the camera. Get it on Amazon. I hope you can see it. Yes, you can. Let me see. You can. Ah, so proud of my friend. Okay. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.